Hi, this is Joy again with uh, Designs by Joy Tutorials for Photo Fusion, my version. I'm going to show you a neat little trick that I found uh, with the fonts. I've always wanted to uh, have the words behind an image. Uh, so it looks like the words are on the canvas and the image is on top of that. Well, uh, this is Extreme 5 but I tested it on 4 on my laptop and this technique worked on 4 too so uh, what you do, well what I do you might find a different way of doing things but this is what I do I add a background whatever one you want with 5 you go to image set as canvas background there it is alright now I'm gonna pull over just a white I'll show you some neat things that PhotoFusion's added too now so here I'm going to add my text and right click edit and paste now there's my text and we'll go to text and then down and pick up the font that you want um, we'll make it look like that you can come in here um, change the font size pretty much do whatever you want with your wording your text okay now I'm gonna pin this open so that you can see if you hit this it'll keep it open so that you can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna come down where it says alignment and center and I'm gonna hit justified see how the it it has uh, the straight edges kinda like that especially for if you have it on lock and clip right here go to advanced come down to area type this is new hit circular now you can make it look like circle text now that in itself is pretty cool but let me show you this click on the white get this position where you want it doesn't really matter click on the white come up and hit the image center here where it's red go to opacity bring it all the way down to nothing if you have your border set click on border and get rid of that now come here and uh, I hold the mouse button down go up and grab them both see how it grabs both frames even though the one is invisible position grouping and group just like that yeah see now it shows it just as one now if you come in and say put a ribbon or something just like this and look the image is over the words just exactly the way I wanted isn't that cool and this can be altered just a little bit like this and come in and you can add a circle and now you can have your words behind a frame also so many neat things you can do with this bring this one to the front image let's see its position order bring to the front and now that little ribbon is right like that now here are some other things that I've done these are already made up and uh, I'm just gonna scan through them here and let you sh let you see what I've done here so you put flowers in front of it just shows you the different techniques that you can do um, and also this advanced editor here let's see let me go back to the first one so you can see all the different things that you can do oh and I like this this is a new thing on here see the X you can just click it and it will get rid of you don't have to hit delete or anything I like this everything on the screen because I rarely use the keyboard if I can get away from it okay now here is the text you can go to like quarter circles like this see and here's the other side towards the top there's the bottom you can see if you rounded it out see how it works so they've got the, the circles here and the circular and then they go into the diamond shapes 
You'll see one I did a little bit here in just a little bit uh, using these diamond shapes. It's pretty cool. Here's those. There's the top of the diamond, the bottom, the uh, right and left, and then the full diamond shape. Very interesting. Uh, these are the ones that I did. See now here I put three photos and then you use the triangular. And this is just an image, um, a PNG image that I used and I attached the wording to it in a, the circular so it fits really nice like that. Here's another. I put a white background so you can see it. Just playing around here just showing you a house look. And here's uh, like a stamp. And you could also do it on the sides like this, on the top, on the bottom. And here's the text behind the words again. Much nicer than having the words on top. Here it's underneath the ribbon. These are just to show you. Here I made the round, put it inside of the sun. And it shows the words underneath. Even the shadowing. Pretty cool, Photofusion. Pretty darn cool. Here's again. And there you go. Uh, play around with this. We'll have some more on these tutorials on how to do these things a little bit later. But uh, get in there and play around. Send what you, uh, you make into the scrapbooking group. I'm sure we'd all like to see it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.